if EY EY over N plus K equals T, what is Y in terms of E, N, K, and T? So they want us to isolate Y over here. This looks really terrible and nasty, but just start by subtracting K from both sides. That'll help. So if we subtract K from both sides, we still have E times Y over N, but we subtracted K, so that's gone on the left side, but now it equals T minus K. And the last step for me is to realize that, oh, E over N is just some number. So we can multiply both sides by N over E, or the reciprocal, just as we would if it was some fractional term like 3 times Y over 2. Well, to get rid of 3 times Y over 3 over 2, we multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over 3 on both sides. Same idea right here. So multiply both sides by N over E. This cancels out. And now we have y equals, I would distribute this, n times t is nt over e minus uh, kn over e. So we might see it in some form like that. Um, okay, so they didn't write it in this form because both fractions have the same denominator, which means you can write nt minus kn over e equals y. Just like if you had... Um, 3 fourths plus 5 fourths. You don't have to write these separately. You can write it as 3 plus 5 over 4, or 8 fourths. Here, though, um, they don't accept this answer either, right? Because they want you to factor. The common factor in the numerator is n. It's n times t and k times n. Pull that out. n times t is nt minus k because n times k is kn. That's over e equals y. That's our factored form, which we can see here in choice number four. Okay.